spot from Bowmanville. The 70 mm Dale Curran Tyler Palace rolls off 24th out of the Rochelle in the 77T, starting 25th. Overdale, Ohio. In the 17, it's Jared Horseman to his outside from Beatsville. The 88 H Josh Hansen starts 26. 27th out of Realton, the 12 TP Darren Drake, 28th out of St. Pete, Quebec, the 3 G of Dale Goslin, starting in the 29th spot from Fremont, Ohio, the 20 I, Kelsey Ivy, 30th out of Oshweekin. In the 68, it's Aaron Turkey, 2 by 2 they come, Carter Long, double greens in hand, the 360 Sprints race for 5 grand and the Thunder on the grand. Good launch for Ryan Turner in the 15. He'll get out in front. He's going to lead lap number one, but Nick Sheridan is hot on his heels. All sorts of traffic off the track. Sean Evans, DJ Christie at both ends. They have issues. They'll gather it back up. We'll stay green. Great battle out in front, side by side for the lead. Nick Sheridan around the outside of Ryan Turner. He'll take the top spot. Drop the green flag in the qualifying heats. Nick Sheridan meant business. He made a hard charge pass for the lead and took the win. He'll make another bold move here to get by Ryan Turner. He's your leader. Scott Gruder up in the third spot. Dylan Westbrook fourth in their side-by-side -side for fifth between Jack Nichols and Max Stambaugh. Man, it is wild right now through the mid to back part of the track. Cars three, four wide as they are getting spread out now at the front beginning to see the back portion of the pack. Watching Dustin Daggett in that 85 machine, he's exciting to watch even when he's all by himself on the racetrack. Glenn Hill right now, right behind Nichols in the 31. That's a battle for the fifth and sixth spot. Make that eighth and ninth spot as Nichols gets by Glenn Hill and caution flag is out. Red flag. Red flag is out. They are part of our Friday night heritage here, and we're ready to go back to green flag racing with the 360 sprint cars. With the Cargoese restart zone, Tricky Nicky. Out in front, and he rockets away from Turner. Great launch for Nick Sheridan out in front. Turner, Kruder, Westbrook, second, third, and fourth. They, oh, trouble down the back straightaway. Oh, Aaron Turkey just did a phenomenal job. How bad would your night be if you hit the same wall twice in the same night? That was some fantastic driving by Aaron Turkey, whoever's sitting in that golf cart is probably thankful that he's... Nick Sheridan going to launch first in the cargo ease restart zone in the 45. Ryan Turner alongside in the 15. Back to the cargo ease restart zone they go, and off goes Nick Sheridan. Rockets down through one and two. Here comes Dylan Westbrook to the outside, made it three wide. Westbrook to the high side in the 47X. Scott Kruger down low in the second spot. Dylan Westbrook to P2. The way Dylan Westbrook's been running this year, Nick Sheridan, you better get on your horse and get going because Dylan Westbrook, five out of six, and he's on a charge. Just outside of the top five, Mike Bowman in that white number 71 trying to work his way up into contention. But out in front, Nick Sheridan in the 45 is about to have company. Sheridan comes off a of corner number four. This time by, it's 17 laps left to go. Dylan Westbrook and Sheridan both working down. Middle to low groove through one and two. Three and four is great where you want to get it all wound up for a guy like Dylan Westbrook, but one and two is just not working tonight. No, it's not, but oh, trouble. Is that Nichols in turn two? I believe it's Jack Nichols down there to the inside of two. Yes, it is in 31. One of our heat race winners earlier. Our yeah. Canada Series up next on Floor Racing and TSN Plus. Once again, Nick Sheridan getting a great launch in that 45 machine. Uses all of the racetrack, leads the way down the back straightaway with Dillon Westbrook hot on his heels. Man, they were four wide back there for the 10th spot. They're going to do it again. Now we've got problems as Kevin Pauls went up the track right in front of Sean Evans. Is he going to come out of the cloud of dust? He is, but that car I don't think has any power. There Caution. is no go-go juice that he might have a... No, the left front's good in that thing. 
Caution, flag comes out for Kevin Pauls. Isn't it interesting how sprint car racing works? We just saw a great sprint race, which is... Sheridan has been getting a great launch on these starts. And he does it again in that 45 machine. Oh, Mike Bowman makes a slick move. The old challenge now for the fourth spot. Bowman gets a good run on Ryan Turner in the 15, and then in three and four gets overtaken. Max Stambaugh makes a move on Bowman to pick up the fifth spot. Stambaugh's had good speed all night long, running in that fifth position. Ryan Turner, Scott Cruder right in front of him. That's third and the fourth spot. The top two have broken away. Dylan Westbrook's right there in the tire tracks of Nick Sheridan. But right now, Sheridan's better in one and two. A couple of drivers moving through the field right now. Josh Hansen in the 88. I'm not sure how far back he was, but Liam Martin in the nine. He is on a charge. He's passing number seven cars like it's going out of style. Westbrook on the outside, trying to get it by Sheridan. Sheridan lifts a little bit off a of corner four. Westbrook goes by. He'll take the top spot. Kevin Pauls is going to call it a night. Halfway through this one, and Dylan Westbrook is out in front. Nick Sheridan not going to give up the chase, though, when that 45 machine in the battle for third rages on. Scott Kruger in the 52 with the 15 of Ryan Turner. Sheridan just can't get off a of corner four like Dylan Westbrook does when he's riding that rim on the outside line. Now Nick Sheridan, he'll move up a lane, and he'll try and catch the 47X, who's heavy in traffic now. Dylan Westbrook has caught the tail end of the field. Who's got the more maneuverable car? Westbrook held up behind Mike Lichty in the 84. Both drivers running the same line out there. Nick Sheridan to the inside. We're battling again for the top spot. Behind that, Kruger and Ryan Turner running third and fourth. Turner trying to mount a charge on the straight shooter. He'll sling by him back into the third spot. Westbrook gets around Lichty, gets around hooping it. Works up the racetrack, checks up in turn number two, but he's got about 10 car lengths over Nick Sheridan. It's time by seven laps left to go for D-Dubs over Nick Sheridan. Ryan Turner pulling away from Cruder, who now is starting to feel pressure from Mike Bowman trying to close the gap. Once again, Dylan Westbrook closes in on traffic, racing side by side. He'll have to make a split second decision. Wow, right across the nose of a slower car goes Westbrook. Here comes Nick Sheridan. He'll get by Kelsey Ivey in the 29, try and close the gap on the leader. He's got three cars stacked up right in front of him. Glenn Styers, Aaron Turkey, Dale Goslin right in front of the leader, Dylan Westbrook. There is nowhere for Westbrook to go. They're side by side, directly in front of the race leader. They're running in the line right now, especially Styers, the line that's been so good for Westbrook. That's paid to an advantage to Nick Sheridan. Sheridan dives it down into corner number one now. Westbrook will clear Styers. Three laps to go this time at the stripe. Dale Goslin off the track in the back straight where we should be able to stay green. Here comes Sheridan, slides up in front of Styers, will clear him. Now it's Westbrook working to the outside of Dolman off of corner number two. Down the back, shoot, he goes into three. Westbrook by 15, car lengths over Sheridan. It'll be two laps to go this time. Third spot still held down by Ryan Turner. He's comfortably ahead of Mike Bowman, who slipped into the fourth spot, got by Scott Kruder. Out in front, the white flag being displayed for Dylan Westbrook. He extends his lead down into turns one and two. Still plenty of traffic to contend with for a race leader. Down the back stretch the final time through three and four. Here comes D-Dub. Seven races make it six wins on the year. Dylan Westbrook picks up the win over Nick Sheridan. Ryan Turner at the line is going to finish third over Mike Bowman. Matt Farnham jumps up to fifth past Scott. Kerner Stambaugh second. Franniken, eighth, Liam Martin up to ninth, and Darren Dryden, what a drive by him, 27th to 10th for Darren Dryden.
victory lane. Clinton Jeffrey will catch up with it. Dylan Westbrook out of the 360 car gets congratulations from Tricky Nicky. Here he comes up top. Six out of seven wins in 2024. How about it for Dylan Westbrook? Dad Dan in here for a big hug and an emotional victory with the entire crew. We'll get Dylan out front to talk to us here. This is something they've done a lot. Dylan will pick up the slack. Feature winner's hat again. They got a, quite a collection. Going to need a new hat rack, D-Dubs, for all these hats you're winning. Talk about your drive, though, man. All the outsiders come in. This was the test. Could you be as good as you were or have been so far with this group? And you proved you can do it, D-Dubs. Yeah, that, uh, that was awesome to uh, get the win here with all the traveling guys coming here. Uh, track kind of went in her favor, too. Uh, I was really thinking it was going to be the bone slick, but uh, this is really good right up our alley, so uh, that helps a lot. But uh, first time running these new tires also, so I've, last year we struggled a little bit when we tried them, but now I think we got it figured out. What does it mean to win inside a crowd like this here tonight in front of a giant packed house? This is awesome. Uh, thanks for all the fans coming out, and uh, hopefully you guys in the sprint car fans. Right on, D-Dubs, Dylan Westbrook grabs the win here tonight. And we'll get over here and talk to Nick Sheridan. Well, Nick, uh, you look like you're on fire tonight. You came out rolling hard in the heats, looked really good in the feature, needed a bit of help here, needed Dylan Westbrook to not be Dylan Westbrook just for just a little bit. But, man, you were in this fight. Nick, you and your team got to be real happy about your run here this evening. Boy, if Dylan wasn't Dylan, we'd all have a lot easier life, wouldn't we? <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, he's, uh, he ran a great race. The team, I, we're, I'm pumped. I'm sure they're over ecstatic, man. We uh, felt good that we had a few laps and having a good car. I just, uh, I just missed on the tire prep a little bit, overcooked the right rear a little bit. But handling wise, felt great. And this track kind of threw us for a curveball. I threw some last minute changes at it right before the heat, and then more last minute changes for the feature. But uh, it's a great surface, and I had a lot of fun on it. Solid drive, Nick. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Nick Sheridan, second, ladies and gentlemen. Give us a second. We'll get over and talk to our third place runner here tonight. Ryan Turner. I think the mustache is what did it for Nick Sheridan tonight, Adam. I was just admiring that stash. I mean, when he started winning races here, there's no way he was shaving. Send it down to Clint with Ryan Turner, third place. Ryan, what a drive here, man. It seems like we're meeting in third place too much this year. You want to be a couple steps up, but these are all good points tonight. The championship is high on your list of priorities this year. The wins can come, but if the points are there and you can be the champ, that's what matters, right? Yeah, I know the mic cut out last week, but I talked about how bad we were in these two races. And, you know, we're doing the opposite tonight, putting it uh, on the pad. Even though it's third, uh, I'm actually really happy tonight just, just getting through this. This seems to be my, my hell week. Uh, you know, obviously, I want Jack to scan on the car. You know, I'm not going to waste everyone's time with all the names. We've got a lot of people helping this team and a lot of people, uh, you know, driving this force and, and trying to get a championship chasing uh, Dylan. Uh, you know, we had uh, Nathan Bavard come down from Michigan, met him six years ago here, so it's awesome he came down and helped us. Brando worked his butt off, I think he was in the shop every night this week. Uh, Dan, uh, Steve Lyons, got a whole bunch of crew, my, my wife Jenna, uh, Matt, Al, uh, Trevor's not here, his back's hurt, but uh, uh, Brent Little with, with the twins and everything, so I can't thank enough people, and we're just happy to be on the pad tonight. Right on, Ryan Turner, good luck tomorrow. Ryan Turner will be third, Nick Sheridan second, and your winner for the sixth time in 2024, Dylan Westbrook. We'll be right back as we wrap things up here on the G-Force program. We'll be switching over to Flow and TSN Plus for the NASCAR race. Don't forget our entire program tomorrow.